Windows 10. Are you still using it? Microsoft support ends for Windows 10 from the 14th of October 2025. So what does this mean for you? I've got four options. Let's go through them. What does end of support actually mean? Will Windows 10 stop working? Is it safe to keep using it? Do you have to upgrade to Windows 11? Firstly, from the 14th of October 2025, Windows 10 will no longer receive software updates. This includes security updates or fixes and technical support from Microsoft ends. So what do you do if you're still running Windows 10? Let's go through four possibilities. Option one, keep using Windows 10. It doesn't stop working. There'll be no noticeable change. According to Microsoft, you will be at a greater risk of viruses or malware, but you can minimize this risk by making sure your security software is up to date and continues to be supported. This includes Windows Security, which is sort of separate from Windows 10 and will continue to receive updates for some time yet. And always practice safe computing, which you should be doing anyway, regardless of the operating system. If you keep using Windows 10, third-party applications are separate and may or may not receive updates. This is up to the individual provider. If the app keeps working well for you, then this is fine. Option two, keep using Windows 10 and register for Windows 10 Extended Security Updates, or ESU. This extends Windows 10 security updates for an additional year. Essentially, you're kicking the can down the road for one more year. For one year, this costs around 30 US dollars or 1000 Microsoft reward points, but you can get this for free if you sync your PC settings using your Microsoft account, or if you live in the EEA, European Economic Area, you automatically get this for free. That is EU countries plus Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway, you're also in. Switzerland and the United Kingdom, sorry, that doesn't include you. Instructions on how to register for the ESU are towards the end of this video, or see the chapters in the notes. Option three, upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on your existing computer for free. If your computer meets the minimum system requirements, for most people, this is your best option. You'll get the latest operating system and continued Microsoft updates and technical support. Windows 11 looks and operates in a similar way to Windows 10, so it will be very familiar and not much of a learning curve. You can check if your computer is compatible with Windows 11 in the Windows Update screen in Settings. Option four. If your existing computer is not compatible with Windows 11 and you would like to keep up to date with Windows 11, then you're in the market for a new computer. At some stage, all computers reach an age where they need replacing and all new Windows PCs come pre-installed with Windows 11. Happy shopping. I'll be interested to see how many people decided to stay with Windows 10 versus those who decided to move on to Windows 11. Let me know in the comments which way you decided to go and why. Follow these steps for how to register for Windows 10 Extended Security Updates or ESU. Go to Settings, select Update and Security, click Enroll Now. Windows will now guide you through the remainder of steps to register for ESU. I am building a library of easy to understand home technology videos to help you. Like and subscribe to Tech with Tony to receive new tips and to explore the back catalog. I'll see you there.